Let's hit some committee stocks on the move. Caterpillar, down big following earnings. It was a mixed report, the company beating earnings estimates, but revenues missed. Caterpillar also saying it expects sales to be lower year over year for the second quarter. Jason, this is one of yours. Yeah, so I mean, Caterpillar has been a rocket ship over the last year and some change. Um, you know, obviously some concern about the, the miss on the top. It was a beat on the bottom. There's still healthy demand for their products. Um, you know, in particular, data center built, which is which is really important for them. Um, you know, as, as I look forward and, you know, I think the, the, the concern for me also was about inventories. Mm -hmm. Inventories was okay. I mean, sales are slowing, um, but price realization was better than expected. So, um, you know, I still want to hold on to this one. I think it's kind of about this whole infrastructure, fiscal, all that's going into the economy, and I think mm -hmm. Caterpillar will continue to benefit from that. Okay. Well, next up is Union Pacific, bucking the broad market sell-off and moving higher. The company beating estimates and updating its profit outlook for the year. Jim, this is yours. Yeah, the solid industrial here, chugging along, pun intended, sorry. Um, the commentary was pretty positive. They're starting a, a share repurchase. They feel good about the future. The only the only thing here is I'm not sure how much gains we have from here. I'm not rushing to add to the stock here. It mm -hmm. trades at roughly 21 times this year's earnings. And at the end of the day, this is a railroad. Now, I think the underlying strength comes from all the capital expenditures going on in the economy on things like infrastructure, things like factories being built for uh, supply chain onshoring. That's a lot of material that needs to be moved by union Pacific. At 21 times, it might be, you know, this might be fair value here. Okay. And Shannon, you like industrials generally. Yeah, I, I think there's an opportunity here. I mean, we're, we're seeing, you know, we were in a, essentially a manufacturing recession here in the United States and globally for, you know, the last 15 months or so. And we're starting to see that reaccelerate. And I think if you think about uh, the necessity of infrastructure builds, not only here, but outside of the United States for not, not just, you know, kind of you know, day to day, but also for security for, you know, some of this AI build. I think there's an opportunity here. Um, I think that, you know, there are going to be some ebbs and flows in terms of demand. And so I'm not surprised to see the, the reaction here with Caterpillar. But I think that that is something that we, you know, we need to be looking more like 12, 18, 24 months out and seeing the way that the global manufacturing economy is turning. Okay. And finally, ServiceNow narrowly beating estimates, also giving full year guidance that matched expectations. Jason, this is one of yours? Yeah, so I, I think with, with, with service now, listen, it was still a triple play. You know, they beat on the top and the bottom and raised the guy. And so I think the concern for the market is the, the guy was a little lighter than what was anticipated. Mm -hmm. I think that's what, what a little bit of the set off we've seen. But, you know, when I, when I think about automated workflows and the business that they're in, and I think about the AI application, you know, we keep talking about use cases. I really think this will work well uh, for Bill McDermott and the team. So mm -hmm. I continue to like this one. Shannon, you have some thoughts on service now? Yeah, I mean, I think it really was all about the two, the second quarter guide. I mean, if you look at the first quarter, uh, service now said that this would be a back, back sec, second half of the year story for them. Mm. Um, and I think if you think about what that means is that there is a little bit of sort of near-term concern about the spending on um, optimization and being able to come in and partner with these companies. But um, from, a, from an overall perspective, they uh, reiterated full-year guidance and they reiterated profitability, which I think is really important this, in this environment where people are looking for quality companies that are able to drive better margins. Look at that, reiterating profitability, something we haven't heard a lot of 